welcome back. Joining me is Temptation Island's Rachel Hamill. Hey, girl, how are you? Good okay. to see you again. You match our set perfectly <laughs> today. You. So since you were last here, your buddy Casey has been very torn up after his video message from his pre-show girlfriend, Ashley. And for the rest of the episode, he seems to be sulking. Let's watch. I would throw up from having sex with any girl here. I wouldn't feel it, and it would feel wrong to me because I don't want it. It would disgust me. Rachel and Peyton, I think they're both awesome. But romantically, it's not there for me. I mean, how did it make you feel to hear this a little harsh I mean, from him, huh? I'd love to, love to hear um, hey, right? someone like, would throw up for yeah. having sex with me. <laughs> but, you know, he was sick in love. And I guess literally, it kind of would um, disgust him. Yeah, <laughs> were you pissed when you heard that? Um, I think that I was just a little... Uh, a little butthurt, I think. Yeah. No one wants to hear that of right. themselves, but it wasn't it wasn't the right time. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, he did end up choosing you for a date over Peyton. Is it weird to be essentially dating someone who is hung up on someone else? Um, yes, for sure. But you right. know, dating in New York is kind of you never know. You could be doing the same thing. Temptation Not Island on TV. Is, yeah. is Manhattan, is yeah. what you're saying? Yes. Manhattan, <laughs> the island of temptation. That's hilarious. Yeah. In the confessional, he says he chose you over Peyton because you do not cause any drama. Um, how did you take this? Because it sort of feels like a backhanded compliment from where I'm sitting. Um, or maybe it's just an insult. I don't really think it was an insult. Okay. I think Casey and I's relationship was very natural. It was never forced. I never kind of stuck myself out there and was like, you have to pick me because you like me. And I think that it just was... It was an easy decision for him. I think he was kind of not in the right headspace to kind of deal with Peyton at the time. Right. So for me, it was just an easy decision. Do you think Peyton causes more drama than oh, you? Oh, yes, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> well, during the fireworks, Casey was still <laughs> sulking. He continues. Let's watch. My heart the entire time is with Ashley, and I feel a part of this group, but I still feel isolated because I feel like my heart is elsewhere. I can only imagine she's watching the same fireworks, possibly with another man. My relationship could be gone because of me. I mean, he is on Sulk Island, <laughs> but on the other hand, Ashley was having the best time. Let's watch. I'm feeling pretty amazing right now. Uh, I think Ben and I had the best date that we've had so far. Ben definitely does give me butterflies. Kind of like magical in a way. It was a more romantic setting, so I think that we were able to connect on a deeper level. I mean, fireworks abound. <laughs> Do you think it's Casey's fault that Ashley is pursuing another man? Um, I don't think so. I think he blames himself for just bringing her to the island, and that's why he is blaming himself. I don't really think that his actions really forced her to jump on anyone else. Is his sulking and brooding make him more attractive to you? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you never know. You never no, know. I think that Casey kind of ended up kind of spiraling, and that's kind of why yeah. we got this kind of alarming personality coming out of that he was just kind of spiraling out of control just thinking oh my gosh what what can i do to get her back i right. brought her here i need to take this back how do I, how am i going to fix things gosh well <laughs> do you believe ashley for sort of having a good time on her side of temptation island no because if she i don't i've been in her shoes before when you've kind of like moved on before right officially breaking things off just because it's tough to do breaking up no one wants to do that um but I do. I did feel bad for Casey. Just it was having a, to go through that in general. It was like a little bit of slap in the face. Yeah. I mean, it was great TV, <laughs> but a little slap in the face. In the final bonfire, Casey breaks down after seeing Ashley making out with Ben, and then Mark L. Wahlberg tells Casey this. Let's watch. The next time I see you, you're going to see her again. You'll have an opportunity to show your growth. How do we show that to her from talking to her? Well, there's a very good question. That is a very good question. Did you help Casey prepare for his reunion with Ashley? And what was that like? Yes, he kind of relied a lot on me, um, just being his closest girlfriend in the house. Sure. Um, just like, hey, if you were in her shoes, what would you want? You've been in her shoes, what did you want from me? Like, I've gotten letters from ex-boyfriends and yeah. just kind of laughed at them. And I really didn't want Ashley to just laugh at Casey's face. You know, you know who wants that? He's gonna humiliate himself. He'd be sulking for another episode. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't want that. Yeah. Well, I hear you go on another date on this week's episode. What can you tell me about that? Well, next week is the overnight date. So that's yeah. kind of like the fantasy suite, but you know, they only get to go in with one girl. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, it's definitely um, a non-conventional date that huh. Casey and I go on. Um, 
I wouldn't really call it one. Oh, you wouldn't call it a date? No. <laughs> it's just like an awkward, like, friend hang? Um, you'll have to watch and see. Oh, well, I also hear that Casey did not attend the reunion. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Um, I mean, based on the final bonfire, it's very emotional. Right. And I really don't think he was in the right headspace to come back and face and do all the confrontation that he really needed to. Right, his mental health mattered mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit there. Um, are you guys still friends after Temptation Island? Casey is very much involved in my life still. I love that, mm -hmm. that is great. Well, speaking of after Temptation Island, your lower third says you're a swimwear designer. Are <laughs> you still designing? Yes, I have to go back to work any minute now. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So I uh, work for a vendor of Target, so. Oh, very, did you wear any of your like design suits on the show? Um, this is a newer job, so. Very cool. From what you see, what I wear, on the show is actually from one of my previous jobs so wow well we're getting you're getting an entire <laughs> chronological order here Check i love out it my linkedin <laughs> yeah right exactly well rachel thank you so much for joining us again thank watch you. temptation island thursday nights at 10 9 central on usa